This clip is brought to you by SaveWithConrad.com. Let's talk about uh, the next match here. It's Rhino retaining the hardcore title in a three-way over Test and Big Show. They get nine minutes and 15 seconds, believe it or not, and Meltzer would say a lot better than it sounded on paper, although that was more due to Rhino and Test. Finish saw Rhino through a garbage can on uh, to show who, for whatever reason, and I doubt it was natural instinct of being a wide receiver as a kid, caught it, and <laughs> Rhino gored him for the pin. Star in three quarters. Man, you know, once upon a time, Big Show was your WrestleMania main event, and he came in with a, a whole bunch of steam. Now he's working the hardcore division. Have we just ran out of ideas for Big Show? Do we no longer see him as a top guy? Why is he relegated to uh, the hardcore division here? The Toledos. Too big. And, you know, a lot of start and stop diets. Things that you and I can understand. <laughs> I dieted yesterday for an hour, you know, type deal. Atta boy. Paulie was, uh, I made that up. Paulie's just, a, uh, you know, uh, he, he, he was convinced early on that he was going to be the next Andre. And as a result of that, having that extra weight north of 400 pounds was a good thing. And so we're, we want to keep investing in him. You know, he was, a uh, for his size, super heavyweight very athletic for his size. Quite frankly, that's from his basketball days. He had, he had good feet. He moved around pretty decent until he got too heavy. And then some of the specialness of him started to wane. So I think that Vince has got very impatient. We're paying him a lot of money. He was earning great money. And, uh, so the thought was maybe he should take more pride in his health and his appearance appearance for pro wrestling health for his life. And, you know, we don't need a guy that's going to have, you know, can't pass a physical, not that he couldn't, but if he kept gaining weight, it's inevitable. It's bound to happen. So I think that was probably a part of that whole situation was we went back to my old term of reliability. Can a guy that doesn't want to lose weight become really, uh, reliable. And the worst thing you can do is say, well, I want to die and I'm working on it. Then you weigh the same thing or a little bit more than next week. I started having guys weigh in that pissed a lot of guys off. And I, I, they say, well, I don't understand why I have to weigh in. I said, how fucking hard is it to stand on the scales? What do you care? We have reasons for these things. So I don't get it. So that's kind of where we, we were there. I think, uh, Paul had just kind of fallen out of favor a little bit with the, with the big guy. Talk to me about Rhino. You know, he's an ECW talent who got really hot at the end of ECW and they were probably on their way down. And now here he is getting a win on pay-per-view over a uh, big show and test. What can you tell us about Rhino? Uh, we liked his work ethic. We liked his believability. He was always going to need probably somebody to help him along with his promo. So you, you do that by either getting him a manager, obviously, or you just give him less to say. So what he says is more impactful. He doesn't have to carry a big load verbally. Uh, Terry was always, a Terry Guerin was always a, one of the most popular guys in the locker room, polite, professional on time, reliable. So I think he got his break there because at that time, uh, most of us saw potential in him. Hey, hey, it's Conrad Thompson. Thanks for checking out the podcast here on YouTube. Be sure to hit the subscribe button and the notifications bell so you get a notice anytime we upload some new content. And go save yourself some money right now. If you're in a 30-year loan or you have credit card debt, it's not a matter of if I can save you money. It's a matter of how much. Find out right now for free at SaveWithConrad.com.